Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over the preferences in setting up your payroll, the different options that you have. All right, so you have to be able to get into the company preferences section. So you want to go up to edit and preferences, down to payroll and employees. Of course, there are not any my preferences on this. There's only company preferences. Okay, so first of all, if you have payroll set up at a certain point, you, you would have had to come in here and say, do you have full payroll, no payroll, or if you're a payroll complete customer, you would have checked that off. So we have full payroll set up. Here we can set up our preferences for uh, first for pay stub and voucher printing. So let's take a look at that. You can decide what you want on the pay stub or the voucher. Okay. Do you want the employee address, company address, pay period? Do you want the vacation and sick to be shown on there? Now, even if the, the employee is not eligible for vacation or sick time, it'll still print vacation sick on there with just nothing. Um, no time, obviously. Uh, so that has been something that people have, you know, asked me about in the past. The other thing is if you use PTO instead of sick and vacation, you can take this off and just change it to PTO. Okay. The legal company name, do you want that on there? Do you want your federal employer number on there? Your federal employer ID number? Uh, do you want the DBA company name? Do you want the company phone number? Non-taxable company items? Um, employees social security number, do you want that printed on the check? Only the last four digits of the social security number and bank account numbers. Uh, do you want the salaried employees hours to show? No. And then if you want to change the font size, you can do that here too. Okay, so this is just on the stubs, the vouchers, all right? For the workers' comp setups, you can decide to track workers' comp or not. Uh, you can also, ex you display the message to assign the code, so it warns you to, to assign codes. Um, or exclude overtime premium from workers' comp calculations. So if you don't want to include overtime premium, then you can check mark that box. Okay. Sick and vacation, these are just the defaults. You can change them on the individual employee level. So we're saying sick, prints as sick. Um, you know, it's cruel period is the beginning of the year. How many do they get per year? 40 hours. Maximum number of hours per, per year, 40, and it resets every year. All right. The vacation defaults to accruing every paycheck. Uh, how many hours per paycheck? Max number of hours they can keep. Do we reset it every year? Yes or no. Um, and then if you want to decide, do not accrue employee sick and vacation hours for sick and vacation hours, or do not accrue sick and vacation based on overtime. Again, these are just defaults. Okay, so if you want to always copy the earnings from the previous paycheck, um, because you know most paychecks are pretty similar, you can go ahead and check this off and it'll automatically copy the earnings detail. You can always go in and edit it though as needed. All right, do you want to recall quantity field on paychecks? Do you want to recall the last one? Do you want to recall our fields on paychecks? Okay. Um, here, if you want to do job costing based on your time, so based on the time card and the payroll expenses, you want to make sure to come in and check that off. And if you want to do class tracking, you can do class tracking on the entire paycheck. So if your, com if your employee is in manufacturing, always in manufacturing, never does manufacturing in warehouse, you can say entire paycheck. But if you have employees who work across departments, you want to say per earnings item. So that way you can track the class for 20 hours this week they were working in accounting and then the other 20 hours this week they're working in marketing. Okay. If you like the employees to be first name, then last name or last name comma first name, that's where you set this preference up right here. If all new employees should be made sales reps, you can check that off here. If you want to display your, display your employee social security numbers on reports, you can check that here. So when you run your employee reports. And then you have some employee defaults. So what are their 
normal regular pay hours, what's their normal payroll schedule, pay frequency, normal class, any additional additions and or deductions that you have here. What's the standard tax standard here? And then again, the vacation, we already set up the standard there, but you can do it again. So this is again, just a default so that uh, you can, you know, when you add a new employee, it defaults to this setting and then you can go in and change it on the individual employee basis. One thing I didn't mention is this little box right here. If they are going to be using time cards, you've got to make sure to check mark this off. Okay. Um, that's how it sets up. So the employee gets their, um, uses time data to create their pay paychecks. Okay. And those are the preferences on payroll.